We did want to talk about some games that we played ourselves mm-hmm. last week. Uh, why don't we start with the? I don't, I don't know. I don't remember the name of the game. The one, that, the Kickstarter game that we. Oh, played. Uh, the Dragon Racer. Dragon Racer. I, it is. I might be mixing it. I mean, that's like what it is. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what it should be uh, called. <laughs> this is a Kickstarter I got, and in essence, what you are is you are all dra- sort of dragon tamers, uh, and you're learning how to change dragon now. <laughs> uh, and there's a race, and pretty much you you by you use drafting to get other dragon cards to power up your the three dragons you have on the field, to sort of push your way forward. So it's a fun drafting of what cards do I need or what does he need? Yeah, it's def- uh, uh, drafting games are usually pretty fun. I think we no, usually enjoy that. Well, I think I for my experience with drafting is a lot of times whether it's Seven Wonders, Magic the Gathering, or this. It really provides you with the interesting choice of always drafting after you having to pay attention. So I know it does the thing that you love because you hate it when a turn when a game makes it so you can't do anything on when it's not your turn, so you sort of zone out. Right, right. You can't do that in a drafting, so that makes it a lot more interesting. And you have and there's a, and there isn't just the optimal. You there is a which way do you go, sort of. You also get, like, kind of a sense of accomplishment of... Or if even if you chose poorly, you feel like, I made these decisions. I didn't just get a hand. Like, I'm responsible for this. Right. But then you feel amazing when you're like, <laughs> yeah. let me see I get this. And you're like, I made the right choice. <laughs> yeah. And, and I don't think it's overused either it i know it's like i said i I named three and that's was this was the most well there are i there's sushi go there's tides of time there's imperial settlers there's uh seasons well good you see i couldn't think of any (laughs) well there's a lot of games that incorporate drafting not as many that are it's so essential you don't feel like deck building whole game you've had your fill yeah, that's, yeah, I guess that's that's what it is. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It was, it was, it was pretty fun. Yeah, um, it was. Uh, I think it was interesting. What, uh, what was interesting about it? What I think that was really interesting to me was it's a race across a track, but it doesn't end when someone crosses the finish line. It's a it's, set number of rounds, and the more rounds, the more cards, so things tend to ramp up. The and the, the dragon art works amazing, which we, which we liked. Yeah. yeah the yeah. other interesting thing is, which I didn't really think about it at the time. It was until the end is um, depending on what the tracks are hidden in the beginning of the game and as you progress they reveal adding new dragons but two tracks aren't used so certain dragons won't be added for certain colors and I realized the my color advantage blue for the early dragons wasn't added so I was like oh that that actually hurt me I shouldn't use blues that have mm. big boosts because they're less likely to be blues in the deck so there is some thinking of strategizing along the way. Yeah, and once once you have a better idea of the distributions and things like that, you definitely right. think about that kind of stuff. <laughs> it also becomes really funny when you're like, yeah, I'm in the lead because it, uh, the person last gets to move first. All of a sudden, next turn, you're like, well, everyone just shot way by me because <laughs> I didn't draft anything I needed. <laughs> right, yeah. It can be, yeah, and then, then the, uh, another drafting fun moment of, I don't need that. I'll 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 get it oh, next time. And then everyone else gets it. Yeah. <laughs> like, why didn't I take that card? I had the chance. <laughs> it was in my hands. Uh, so that's Dragon Racer or whatever it's called. <laughs> no, we'll, I apologize for blanking on the name. <laughs> we'll put it on the screen. No, they should apologize if it's not called Dragon Racer. <laughs> uh, the other one I think we should talk about is one of our ten by tens, which we're slowly oh, I, getting I through. It? That's the mark for that. You did. Yeah, because we haven't played it before. Uh, Dead of Winter. Uh, So this was our first time playing the game with the app, which we really liked. Uh, 10 out of 10. I I, I wouldn't want to play without it. I thought it was so good. It was awesome. And also, I feel like the first time we played with... Without any new players or any, no, it, I, yes. so we actually knew what we were doing, and the game actually didn't take that long, uh, unlike a usual playthrough goes. Uh, but I, the thing that I think we need to really discuss, the takeaway from this game, <laughs> is uh, has to do with the Dead of Winter's traitor uh, betrayal, hidden so secrets mechanics. If you don't know, at the beginning of the game, everyone's given a card which either says you're a traitor. Or you have some specific goal you need to do in order, in addition, in order to win. And someone may not be a traitor. It's right. possible for everyone to be working together theoretically. Um, uh, it's just that, yeah, everyone has the everyone. Everyone wants two things. One is a secret goal. The other one is to either win or make everyone lose. <laughs> now we came to a point, and really, I have to be honest. This did come up though because we got cocky. 
mostly because we, we did a little bit. We, we well, <laughs> if if we, if we didn't, it, we decided to ignore a card like, oh, the bad thing isn't that bad, but it turned out to be really bad for us. Like if we actually yeah. did go for that, I don't think this would have come up, right? Or right. at least not in a really way. Uh, it came to a decision that seemed like it was pretty much we either decide to end the game and achieve the the, the, the scenarios the, the main scenarios victory main condition, thing. or hope to God that someone wasn't a traitor <laughs> and pretty much act selfishly and hope that we can get our own goal up. Well, so at this point, I, well, none of us no one had our, we our should, secondary no, goal. We should mention, no one should have achieved their secondary goal, or at least we knew, no, everyone knew that no, Jonathan was the only one who blatantly said, <laughs> I did not achieve my secondary goal, and Garrett. I was, yeah. You, you two both believe I did, I didn't, but it came to the decision that I was arguing that the the scenario goal was more important than the personal goal. When Jonathan on the hand said, it's the mechanic, I have a personal goal, I'm giving it, therefore that has to be what I have to strive for first. By the way, neither of us were the traitors. <laughs> right. <laughs> Neil was the traitor. And it ended up nobody won Oh, yeah. He didn't, <laughs> his, just like him, he's, that's not, he not only wants us to lose, but he has his own thing. The game was a total loss for every single player. Yes. <laughs> and we had a good chain of zombie bites in the last round, too. That was amazing, because it was, yeah, that was Garrett going for his own goal, which I, which the worst part was, that was the exact opposite of what my goal was. <laughs> oh, yeah, so was I was like, what people. are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> so, yeah, my, my thing is basically... And then the worst thing is, yeah. by Garrett trying to get his goal, ruined your chances of getting your goal. <laughs> Right. Well, I think what happens is everybody kind of... I think we all overestimated how much time there was in the game. And at least this is how I always do in Dead of Winter. And usually I'm like, you know, I don't want to appear suspicious. So, like, I'll kind of work on my secondary goal as I go along slowly. And then by the time the last two rounds come, I'm like, well, great. Now I'm stuck because I didn't spend enough time on this. Well, I know from mine, mine was very simple. It mine was, was a, pretty simple too, yeah. yeah. Well, and also, well, the thing is, mine was to have 12 people in the column. Well, it says on the board. So I, in my head, I'm like, does that mean anywhere? I think it's the call. I think. Anyways, I assumed I it might know. be the call, but <laughs> I, knew, I expected, like, odds are with our scenario, that's going to happen because we're probably going to build up bar barricades last. And we had to build uh, ten, bar barricades. 10 barricades in the, there and then one in each place. But odds are we're all going to run back there. So I right. didn't think that was, for me, I wasn't going to be there. Like I said, this becomes the point of, in my head, my characters are like, yeah, you know, we'll get a lot of people, but we want to live. So I became, this became an argument of what is the right thing. And I can understand where Jonathan, but I felt so connected with my character. Like, I didn't want to, I'm like, no, Basically, we need to live. you took a very thematic role-playing approach to the character. Right. Um, which I think is valid, but... Well, valid in this game. We should mention some other games, not so much. Like, Maybe. I think story actually is an important part in this game. I mean, I mean, I would like however you want to play it is however you right. want to play it. At the end of the day, but I, but my thing is that the, according to the actual card, like there's two win conditions that you must meet to win. It, basically, the bottom, the, the I think the point of contention is seeing Dead of Winter as a cooperative game with extra win conditions or a purely competitive game. Right. And I think at the end of the day, based on the rules of Dead of Winter at least and how I perceive it, it really is a competitive game in which everyone happens to share one of the same goals. But you see, I don't only you're still not working you're really not working together. I don't feel that way cuz I feel because it is so strongly thematic with the crossroad cards. That story is meant to be such a big role. But it just seems... I don't think thematic is necessarily necessarily negates that. I think it's also thematic that in a zombie apocalypse, as with all good zombie movies, that everyone's also... No one's really yes, working together. Yes, but you know that when it comes to that time when either I can either die or live, well, maybe, but I make not. money. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Well, maybe but then, the traitor, but. but then the question is, well, why do I even care about my secondary goal? Why is it even in the game? Why don't I just... If, we, if everyone ignored it and purely worked to complete the main goal, you would have no well, problem. Well, I'm not saying you go straight for the main goal. My thing is, if you come to a position where we were, where your choice are either lose-lose or complete the scenario, but you don't complete your second one, I think the other one is a win in my book. 
I guess, but I think, but by the, but, but that's your, by your book, <laughs> but I think, <laughs> we're having the same discussion, by the rule book, yeah. I don't think that's true. I think right now we're at the impasse where we're just going to keep saying well, I think I'm right and I, I'm right. I actually think, I, I really think that your complaint is a complaint with the game itself and not with interpretation. I think I that the intention of the game is that you're either a winner or a loser because they're, they don't mention partial victory anywhere. And I think you wish it were different. <laughs> I don't know. I think that's how I see the game. I don't think it's a wish. I think that's it's meant to be a story. Like I don't. With the crossroad deck is just such. Why would they make it some of those cards so specific to certain characters? If story wasn't supposed to be such oh, a big part, I, I of it? think it absolutely is. I just think the story is that th these are all a bunch of mean, spiteful people who don't like each other. <laughs> That's Tell it. us what you think. <laughs> which side are you on? Yeah. So, uh, which one of us is the real betrayer? Here? Well, neither of us were. No. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I don't know. I think I think it is. I think it is something that going forward, you almost you have to discuss that in going into the game in that case because. Well, no, you just got to know what people you're playing with. <laughs> yeah, I I guess. Winners or losers? <laughs>